Johann Oswald Eisen. Sir. Whereas you have performed selflessly and heroically in the field, I hereby bestow upon you the Order of the Iron Star. Here, I'll put it on you. Stick out your chest. Y yes sir <laughs> Relax. There's no need to be so stiff. You wear it well. Congratulations. Sir, your words do me great honor, sir. You were in the paper, you know. Oswald the Iron, they called you. Yes, the other boys in the squad were teasing me about it. The little mouse, square in the spotlight. This operation has given me cause to rethink my conception of supply and support in combat as well. I plan to work on refining orders to cure and assist my men henceforth. That said, I heard you've applied to be reassigned from engineer to scout duty. Yes, sir. I've thought about it for quite some time now. I see. You look every bit the soldier now. Regardless of your role, I'll have you stay in my unit. I look forward to more good work from you, Johan. Sir! Now, how about some food? Tonight will be my treat. To celebrate your decoration. S sir it would be an honor. Are there any suitable restaurants in the area? Oh, I hadn't planned on anything so fancy. I simply thought I'd cook you something here. What? General, you cook? Yes, well, now and then, when the mood strikes me. Being out in the field, I doubt we'll find anything special by way of ingredients, but I'll work with what I can get. Wow. Th thank you, sir. Shall we head to the mess hall, then? You can tell me what you'd like along the way. I never told the general. I couldn't. I wanted to tell her she was the reason I became a scout. So I could join her up at the front lines to keep fighting in her side. If a rank and file grunt like me could help ease her loneliness, even just for a time, that'd be enough for me. I knew I could die. I knew the risks. But I also knew that this was what I wanted. And I've never regretted it. Whenever that final day comes, I want to have spent everyone before it with her. My place is there, fighting for her. <laughs>